Hi guys, and we are back for another installment on unboxing, tasting, and ratings. Today we are doing Snack Fever. Now this one is not one of the Japanese ones. This is going to be the Korean food subscription box that I get. Um, I normally like this one better than the other ones. Although I do really like Tokyo Treat. But I always Ooh. like, I really like the Korean food the best. Because I'm also, I'm trying to learn Korean. And it's going to be poison. I date Korean. It's, it's going to be poison <laughs> with nuclear stuff. Poisoned with good stuff. Nope. With good stuff. With You're going to be stuff. poisoned with good, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Never, ever been open before. So what y'all see for the first time is what we are seeing for the first time. I'm back here with Dustin today. My Asian food tester that likes Asian to try food Asian food tester who likes to try new Asian food with me. So, are you pumped and ready for this episode of March Snack Fever? Pumped. We get fat. We like to get plumped. Yeah, yeah. It's like going to Grandma's house. Play on words. All right. Hope I don't kill myself on camera. Don't kill yourself. It wouldn't be good because I'd be over here like, well, she's dying. People want to grab this camera. Yeah, do, yeah please, because that's what's going to go viral on YouTube. Know, this I, isn't, you'll this be the isn't most going viral. Ever. Nobody cares that Liz and Dustin is eating Asian food or that Liz likes to play video games or that she gave away $100. And she didn't give it to me. It was by drawing, man. It was by drawing. We did this in the fairest way possible, uh, and I, and that's of course, why I'm not butthurt about it. and of course, I lost subscribers from it. But it's whatever. Like should happen. That I honestly, I don't want people subscribing to me if they were if they were only here for the the hundred dollar gift card. They're not here for gamings, and I'm here for an all around nerdy channel. So with the Japanese food, and I have some comic book things coming. And what are you doing? Comic book things? What? Yes, I got some comic book things. That was not acted out just then either. <laughs> what the hell? This is the first I'm hearing about this. I'm just kind of bouncing it around. I'll tell you after the video. Oh, okay. I'll tell you after the video. I'm kind of bouncing it around right now, some ideas. Like but I think that it's going to be a really good comic book segment when I do launch the comic books. And of course, we got the Pokemon videos coming and... Gaming Lord. videos, of course. They also come with a little book. Yeah, all of them come with a little book. Okay. All right. Coffee? So this is going to be um, Snack Fever's March box. Uh, I got this in March. Of course. I mean, it's Snack Fever March. He's been He's been bothering me about this box for even longer. <laughs> Um, because actually, the the April box has come to my um, to my mom's house now. So we gotta do this one soon. We'll be doing that one soon too. Hopefully, you know, if you like these videos, we need you to comment, we need you to like, and we need you to share these videos to let us know that you really like them, or else, like what we might be wasting our time. What are you doing again? I'm thinking I'm always wasting my time. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey Dustin, you gotta do this, this, and this, and this today. Nah, I'm gonna go play some rust. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out here first. Um, we get a drink in this one, too. I told y'all that we get drinks in every um, food subscription box that I get. Grape and coconut? Oh, God. I'm Cocoa grape. Um, oh, oh. Oh, oh, so, oh. There we go. It was all blurred out. Oh. Um, so, anyway, not trying this just yet. We're going to try to do just a really big video where we try all kinds of drinks. And maybe we can get a couple of other friends doing it. And we can just kind of have like a gigantic tasting test. Maybe we'll get OMG uh, Kirby WTF in here. That would be funny. Yeah. Cause he would tower over both of us. We'd just be like. He'd going? be like up here. We'd have How's to move going, the Kirby? camera. We would be like, hello. We'd be like, we'd be sitting here like this. Like and his head would be. Here's Kirby. Way up here. <laughs> but anywho. So let's start trying some anything. food today. All right. We're going to have this here for our reference. Well, I kind of cut you out, Dustin. Yeah, no, I'm not important. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am the star of this channel. True. Sit true. down, boo. You're the co-star. I am sitting down. <laughs> lay down. Don't lay down. He's Don't doing lay down. that for me. <laughs> All right. This is what I want to try first. The thing, I always have really high hopes as well for the snack fever boxes because I always love everything Korean for the most part. So, we're going to, you're moving the camera, dude. <laughs> 
Is it the camera or the mic? The camera. The whole thing's moving. Oh. I'm too big. Anyway, um, the first thing we're going to try today is we're going to try this. These are sun... Ooh. These are sunflower choco balls. So, I think that I'm going to love these. Because <laughs> ain't I, trying it for nothing. Because it's chocolate. Yep. Yeah. So... Only chocolate thing you eat I know, I wish that he would participate cake. in this video, but it's whatever. He's Korean, so it would have been nice. But He's half Korean, half American. Shh, don't tell him that. <laughs> Alright, open up your hand. Whoa. So these are, looks like it's in dark chocolate. Let's see if it gives us anything. It just says roasted sunflower seeds covered in chocolate. So it looks like dark chocolate. This, that's really just shiny. what they look like. They're really shiny. All right, you ready? Yep. Just pop them all in. in. Three, two, one. Love them. Ten out of ten, right now. Right here, right now. Those are good. Oh, ten out of ten. No complaints. It's dark chocolate and sunflower seeds. America, do this. Yeah, bring this to us. Yeah. We love this. Very much so. All right. Let's see what else. Do, let's go ahead and put it over here, like we do with our other videos. All right. I don't think I can have these, but we'll uh, see. Some milk. These are rare, rare cheese. cheese. Hi. So this is what the packaging looks like as I read you what it is. It's a bite of cream cheese in a crisp wafer. You can freeze it and enjoy it like a cheesecake or pair it with coffee, tea, or milk. Oh, so it's like another coffee. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Oh. Look at that, and in case you're too stupid to open it, we have directions. Okay. American. It, it's, the, it's all written and it's not for the Americans. It's a picture. It's a, you don't have to be able to read it. You just look at it like, oh. Okay, it looks like there's multiple ones in here. We're just going to try the one today, and then, of course, yeah, close this back up. Two other things are the same thing. Oh, we do, don't we? Three other things are the same thing. Good lord. Are they all the same? Let's like, they see. gave you, like, doubles is what it looks like. Oh, yeah, they normally do. They give me doubles. <sighs> okay, I won't say much more. <laughs> but is it is it really? That's what, oh, yep, that's what I was looking at. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Hold on. So, they come in pairs, and me and Dustin are just going to... Split cat. one, yeah, right. This is this is crummy. Crummies, okay. Crummies, crumbs everywhere. All right, so yeah, you can even go ahead and see the cream cheese that's inside of there. Focus. There we go. All right. I like it. It's a lemon. It's a lemony cream cheese, and it's good. I give it a ten out of ten. What do you give it? Well, it's name actually. Oh, that's so good. Because most women think they have it like super powered, like o OP lemon. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like this a lot. So we are going... Are those all the same thing? Yep, they're all the same thing. Creamy and lemony. This is another one. I think that this is a creamy lemony one. Yeah, those two have the same texture. So wait, wait, look at the picture. What's the picture on this one? Yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah. It's same the same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah it's just a different cool. packaging. And so they sent us three of these. Thank you, Snack Beaver, for sending us three. I'm going to be freezing those and trying them that way. All right. And we'll coffee. Mom will be a little lactose free milk. I will have black coffee, too. Okay. What did you want to try? That? Is that what you were talking about? That's what I was looking at. We don't have to try it. Okay. Yet. Yeah. We won't be trying it um, because it requires cooking. But oh, okay. Okay. You can have some when I do cook Black it. Beans, sauce. So, just so y'all know, also a big thing with um snack fever that I really like because I love ramen and I love like real ramen, like oh, yeah. ramen from other countries yeah. that it came from, like Asian countries, not the ramen we pay thirty eight cents for at Walmart. <laughs> Although we do eat a lot of that, but in every snack fever box you get, there's normally a pack of ramen. I swear that could be your lunch box. You just grab that. Yeah. And Take it to school so that's the ramen we have. That's what I do for work. Black bean sauce. So this, of course, is an all-time classic. Uh, soupless noodles with black bean sauce and mixed mixed vegetables. Mixed. mixed vegetables. So 
the last ramen I had, I posted a couple of pictures on Twitter for anybody who followed me. They saw what I was posting and eating that night. Snack Fever, y'all even favorited and retweeted me, I think, so thank you for that. But That's yeah, cool. excited yeah. for that. We won't be trying it. I will let y'all know on Twitter how good this is. That or Instagram. Is so, yeah. yeah, put it over there. Put these over here too, pretty please. I'm like swirling them up. All right. They send us a lot of stuff that it's kind of hard to try on camera. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Those. Lo these? No, 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 no. I think you just catch me. These? Yeah. Okay. Those look like Starburst. We are going to go with... Is it these? Or is it those? Yeah, it's it's the same thing. This is what came in the mini box. And this is the original box. So that's okay. the one that we have is the original one. Um, Can you pronounce that, Dustin? Do you know how to go with that? Say, comma, doll, comma? That's not... Say comma. No, say com doll. Com. Com. Say com doll com. Say com doll com. I'm not sure. It is s a. It is s a e c o m d a l com c o m. So this is. It literally means sweet and sour. It's going to be. Let's hold that a little bit closer for you guys. Uh, a soft, happy candy that comes in varieties of fruit fruit flavors. Fruit. Oh man. Um. Fruit flavor. The ones that we have in here has like peaches on them. Come on, Snack Fever. I love peach. I would have wanted the peach ones. We got the grape ones. <laughs> of course. <laughs> As we know from the previous video I uploaded, um, I don't like grape all that much. But, you know, I have noticed though, every time I do try grape flavored things from um, Japan and Korea, it does have a different kind of taste to it than the ones of any kind of like grape flavored candies that get over here. So I have liked those a little bit better. So let's see. Um, but in all reality, this is probably not going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. Although what we've done two products already and they were both 10 out of 10s. Let's see how easy it's going to be to open those these. Those were good. I will say that. Which ones? Really the good. the both cheese? Of them. Both of them. Yeah, they were good. Okay. There you go, buddy. I think it says grape all over it in Korean. Uh, uh, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that far yet in knowing my Korean. But I'm pretty sure that that says grape all over it. If I, just, I have any Korean watchers, let me know. Come on, man. Focus. Get with the program. Yeah, oh, well. Oh, well. But I'm pretty sure it says grape on it. All right, man. Are you ready to try it? Si, senor. Right. Let's go. Oh. It's good. Jesus. It's like sour. Sweet and sour. Of course, it's sweet and sour. Literally <laughs> made sweet and sour is what it's called. I like it. Um, yeah. I'm going to give this one. A nine. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it a nine. I'll give it an eight. It's great. Come on, snack fever. If y'all would have sent me the peach ones, y'all would have probably gotten 11 out of 10. How does that probably be? Numbers don't lie. It's really chewy. Oh, yeah. It's also a, a, bug, a bubble gum like thing. Close them off. Don't, no, 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 don't hurt it. I hate bugs. We're still going over <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, too. It's all like Dustin. Which sucks. I hate being an adult. Yeah. Yeah. I just swallowed mine. Yeah, I just did that too. Yeah. Up high for not choking. Awesome. So that's what those were. 8 out of 10 for me. 9 out of 10 for Dustin. Do you have a reason, Dustin, on why you don't have a 10 out of 10 for that product? It's not to die for, but it is really good. They kind of remind me of the Starburst. Yeah, but it was sweet and sour at the same time, so it's like... Not just like, uh, Starburst. It's, it's like, like a, ha! It's like a now and later Starburst. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. So it says sour from that is now great, and later. That, that was yeah. perfect. Spot on. Yes. I love now and later. They're all right. There's two of those in there. Yeah. So another thing, they do like to send you duplicates, which I like. Some people might not like that. Um, but I like the duplicates. Normally whenever they do send me duplicates, I like them. For instance, the cheesecake stuff that we just ate. These are honey and almond crackers, so let's see if we got anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I, I was oh. pointing at that. It's honey and almond cracker. So this 
is, let's see, this is going to be a sugary cracker with almond flakes infused with a hint of acia honey. Enjoy it with coffee or tea. Well, I'm drinking a Red Bull. Asasia. Yeah, Asasia honey. Oh, okay. Grammar Nazi today. Ha. Ah. Mm. Gotta do as worse as Trent. As worse as Trent. As <laughs> bad as Trent. Oh, look at the Grammar Nazi. All right. Ooh, this looks like kind of like the brownie toffee. Do you remember the brownie toffee you got from the gas station? That was good. Uh, I was like, oh, this is pretty. And I, was try I thought it was straight toffee, though. But when I got it, I was like, oh, it's like chips of brownie with toffee chunks in there. really good. It really was. It would be really good with toffee. All right. Um, if you don't eat it all, it's okay. But don't that kind of look like it? Y'all yeah. can kind of see that. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Or do you want to break it in half? I know. That smells good. That smells great. Okay, well, he's going to have a oh, whole man. one. So it smells really good. I haven't got a oh, chance yeah. to smell it yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that does smell good. All right. Well, let's chow down. One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah. Snack fever. We've done it again. You ate the whole thing? Yeah. I just took a bite. Oh, man. All right, well, I think the rest, why don't you go ahead and give your rating and why? I definitely give that a 10 out of 10. It's a smooth flavor. It's not overly sweet. Um, suggestion. I know I keep bringing up coffee a lot. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but usually when I do, I always have, like, these little treats that complement the coffee, and this would definitely be something that does that. I'm going to second that. I like to drink a lot of coffee. Although we don't have a coffee maker here, but no. I like to drink a lot of coffee. I get Starbucks every day. White girl problem. <laughs> you brought me a couple times, <laughs> and I never get coffee. I've only gotten coffee once, and I was like, you know Always what? Always forget it. Just because everybody keeps blowing up about this pumpkin spice, I was like, I'll go ahead and try it. It was I'm okay until fan. I got down to the bottom where all of the pumpkin spice stuff had went, and then I was like, oh, it's poison. <laughs> but all right, so yeah, the <clears throat> honey and almond cracker, I will give it a 9 out of 10, uh, just because it's really good, but I'm not going to call it perfection. I don't think it would be something that I'd eat an abundance of at one time. I like, would. one or two of these crackers is enough for me. So. No, I'd go through a box. <laughs> Just, oh, but, I'm yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10. So, awesome job again. I think that means asshole in some places, maybe. Well, I don't, don't, don't. I don't know. Ask me. Perfection. Magnificent. Yeah. Okay. Spicy meat the ball. All right. Now we're on to... All right, I can't wait. Some to all these cookies. Yeah, I can't wait to try these. These, um, um, I think that they're wafer cookies. Buttering. Buttering cookies. The delicious, all right. The sweet butter flavored cookie that that's ideal for tea, tea time. time or snacking any any snacking occasion. So all this stuff that we're eating that's like light, lightly like like cookies and all that. With like coffee, good with and, coffee tea. and tea. They okay. have lots of coffee and like tea time in Korea, I do believe. I think it's bad. We're born here in America. You and I are born here in the South, and I don't really like sweet tea. I love sweet tea. I'm, I'm a strong <laughs> tea type of guy. I'm a strong coffee. I don't like it sweet. I love sweet tea. I love multiple <clears throat> forms of tea, though, because I like Through. green tea as well. Did you like that Sleepy Time tea I told you to try? Yes, I did, actually. It was pretty good. Um, I ordered some other flavors in it, though, because I didn't yeah, like their to, herbal if one. If you go to Winn-Dixie, they've got this massive selection. I just ordered mine from Amazon, so I didn't have to go to the store. Carrie and Chris, you would love to see. They'd be like, <laughs> Shout ah. out to you two. <laughs> All right. Uh, the only thing different about these cookies that it appears as different than the ones that I've seen at Dollar Tree, although, first off, the ones I saw at Dollar Tree were not Korean. No. Secondly, um, they're smaller. But that's like a lot with American versus other foods is it's smaller portions. It's because Americans are used to, like, big portions. Big, big portions. I really Big wish we would foods. cut our stuff down sometimes because I know I definitely overeat. I sometimes overeat. Problem. Right, you ready, man? You gonna eat the whole cookie? You just gonna take a bite? I'm. I mean, you do whatever you want to do. I'm probably just gonna take a bite. Eat the whole cookie, ready? All right, Set. let's go. It's like a vanilla wafer. They taste just like the one from Dollar Tree too. Was the one from Dollar Tree are incredible? Very good. Do you have a rating for them? An eight. 
An eight? Uh, like an 8.5. Okay. Why so low? At least for this. I said so low. Good lord. That's At a least for this. Rating. I mean, everything else we've rated has been like up in the nines and tens. Because the flavor is like not really much there. It's a butter cookie. That's the flavor. You ever had butter cake before? And instantly when you bite into a butter cake, it's just like... <clears throat> And then this one right here is like, yeah, just chew it on a second. It'll come eventually. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So once it, again, I give it an 8.5. I give it a 9 out of 10. Snack Fever, you've done a great job on this choice, too. It's higher than the Tokyo Crate. Tokyo Treat. Treat? Yeah, Tokyo Treat okay. Japan Crate. Um, yeah, so far we're doing, we're doing a lot better. Oh, we never did an overview of the Tokyo Treat. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we just started on this, so. Yeah, this is a new we segment. We make mistakes. Stuff happens. All right, me and Dustin, we are going to split one of these. I've actually oh, that had. That name, though. These are called Oh Yes. Oh Yes. Soft and moist chocolate covered cake filled with whipped, whipped strawberry, strawberry cream. cream. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. That is it. right. Dog, what are you doing? All right. So we're going to split this in half, though. They sent us, again, I was telling you all about the duplicates. They've sent us two. I've had this brand before. I've just had some different flavors of it um, because Snack Fever has sent out these before. Um, they had theirs. The lemon one, I believe. I think I'll let you eat it. Mm, wasn't me. Oh, I must have. I may have ate it the night for dessert, the night I had the, the ramen I got from the last box. I need to go get me some more. Uh, black bean sauce ramen for work. The the black bean, yeah. I have not had these That's before. That's like a brownie looking thing. I haven't had these before. This is a different rip thing. It in half. Mm hmm. Okay. This looks like. One. You want a tiny one? Yeah. Okay. So it almost kind of looks like one of those little Debbie's, except for it's the different kind of cake. I can already tell on the texture that. That is much different than Debbie. That looks like. Mm hmm. It's like the when you go to China Garden. And you, yeah. you get their cake from China Garden, so yeah. I don't know what you would call that. China Garden is also a local Chinese buffet we have here. And that's really good. Run by the Zhao family. Yeah, Zhao. These are really good. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I'd go with an 8 out of 10 on that. What do you think, Dustin? Yeah, about the same. Um, I'd say out of 8 out of 10... Because the cake's a little drying. Yeah, again, it did just come from them. Like, they just took it over here. Well, yeah, but I mean, most cake texture like that, though, that you get from China Garden stuff, it's not moist. It's kind of a dry cake. We're being rude. And licking our fingers. How's that being rude? We're not it's licking. rude to lick your fingers. I was never taught that. I was told it is rude when you're eating spaghetti with a group of people you don't know to not slurp the noodle. It's rude to not slurp the noodle? It's rude to slurp the noodle. Oh, well, yeah. Um, let's see. It looks like there's... Wait, you want to put these cookies over here? Yeah, why not? All right, go ahead and put that over there, too, because that's a duplicate. So, a du And that's just trash. So it's good. Just putting the, yeah, oh. it's just putting the trash okay, behind Okay, we'll it. put trash there. I do need something to drink. Alcohol. Mine's not alcohol. Oh, oh, one other misleading thing. The cake we just ate, it was very thin. That looks much thicker. That is misleading. Yeah. Good catch, Dustin. Da -da. That is a great observation. Yeah. All right. I don't have high hopes for this. Yeah, I don't think that this is going to be incredible. What I think that? that it may be tasty. Get this. Sal Lobio. Rice crackers. I like crispy bite-sized rice crackers. I love rice crackers. Well, if you go to the Korean market, most of the snacks that you get over there is right, nothing yeah. but rice. I mean, that's snacks. their biggest export. That's right. So, let's see. And it's just, it doesn't give us any kind of flavor. To me, it looks like it's going to be caramel or honey. So Yeah, some along those lines. Because, I mean, it's got that golden texture. Let me see. Oh. doesn't have a, really a smell to it. I was wrong. I was wrong. 
They're really good. I had munch on these. Like oh, yeah. watching TV. Oh, yeah. I had munch on them. What does that taste of? It's I'm not sure. I'm going to do one more. It's not really sweet. It's kind of like a very lightly salty. Yeah. Salty caramel? Maybe? I'm not sure. Those are good. 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would it, well, have you got to give it a rating, Dustin? I'll give it a 9. I like them, but something tells me if I eat too much, I get sick. See, they're not sweet enough to make me actually get sick. That's why I like them so much. Like, I could eat a whole bag of those. We what won't be that? trying these. Um, oh. Is there a uh, coffee? Maxpresso. We have a green tea latte in the cabinet, cabinet oh, as well. The cabinet. Oh my yeah. lord. <laughs> we we have a green tea um, latte over there from the last box that we had gotten. So you also do get some type of coffee from them most most of the time. I won't say every time. I only got about three of these snack fever boxes, so it's not quite enough. Did to you know get yet. two green lattes last time? Green tea lattes. I believe so. I think there's two in there. Oh, I thought I only saw. One. That is these. Maxpresso. An instant on the go option for you coffee lovers. It's a great post spicy ramen drink. Ramen. Ramen. What is, what? It doesn't matter. You can just say however you usually say because most people will understand. Okay. Y'all understand? <laughs> ramen, ramen. To quell the fire in your stomach. Oh, the, uh, it sounds like it's trying to help prevent um what is it uh heartburn oh i was fixing to say diarrhea diarrhea is <laughs> in the bowels not in the gut um well i mean it has to form in like the intestines yeah but that's the bowels but um the it said the fire in your what it's a fire in your stomach stomach so i guess Antacid. i guess that it helps a lot with um the spicy ramen and it's coffee with creamer and sugar. It says that down at the it's bottom. Already pre-made, so okay. Mm-hmm. That's like the green tea latte ones in there. So we'll Oops, probably sorry, do a quick. Change. We'll probably do a quick 10, 10 second video. I believe is what they are on a quick rating for Twitter on these. We're not gonna make them right now because we're busy drinking our other stuff. Nosy, nosy. I, I mean, it's. I couldn't see the other ones. So I was like, what else is in here? Oh, there's three. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're and have to have one a piece. the last thing, yeah, we're gonna have, to have one a piece on these. So last thing we have in here, the just so y'all know, the snack fever boxes. It only comes in two options: you get mini box and you get the original box. It doesn't give you as much product as say if you order the premium Japan crate or the premium Tokyo treat, but it definitely gives you give you your bang for your buck. So here you go, Dustin. We're gonna go ahead and show everybody watching this video what we're eating. So that is what we're eating. Maybe it will focus. There we go. Which way I'm hoping I'm supposed to hold. I'm assuming like that. I don't know. All right. And this is a traditional that. Korean treat. Scorched rice flavored candy. It's a great balance of sweetness and starchy nuttiness. All right. Nuttiness. And they normally send you some. <clears throat> they normally send you some type of candy like this as well every month. So it definitely has a repetitiveness. But, like I said, I like this kind of food. We go to the Korean market and buy... All the time. Yeah, we go to the Korean market all the time. We buy this food constantly. So, it's just... It's nice to see different food that we might not see at the Korean market. We're, okay, we're I'm okay with it being a consistent thing. If you want completely diverse and limited edition things every time, though, Snack Fever might not be the best um, option for you to choose. But, I'd say at least try it out once if you are looking for something that's Korean. These remind me of my green grape and yep. plum candy. All right, ready? Yep, one, two. Oh, you can instantly taste that. What's your thing? It tastes like those, um, like a subtle sweet version of the, the Sol Lobia, or rice cracker. It's literally what it tastes like, like a subtle sweet rice cracker. So do you have, um, you have a rating on this product yet? I like it. 
You like it? I so like if you it. have to give it a number, what kind of number would you give these people? I'm going to go ahead and give it an 11. You'll give it an 11? Yeah. Here you go, man. You can have the third one. Woo! I give it a 3 out of 10. You're a loser. I give it a 3 out of 10. I loved it. I don't really like the flavor all that much. It kind of actually reminds me of burnt popcorn. You didn't have enough uh, Harry Potter jelly beans running around, though, did you? <laughs> no, I did not. What? I used to love Harry Potter jelly beans. But yeah, th it kind of reminds me of burnt popcorn. It's really good. It'd be a great palate cleanser for after you're done eating a meal that has, say, a lot of different spices in it or a lot of different flavors, and you, you're just trying to cleanse your palate. It's pretty good. But I'll, I've had some plum candies, and I've had some of the, what are the other ones? The green apple? Green grapes. Green grapes. Green grapes. The green grape ones. Trent and also I, called them after I was like, no, green grapes. Yeah. So I like those a lot better than I like I like the one that is in my mouth right now. But on that note, that's going to be everything that we got from our snack fever box this month. So stay tuned. <laughs> so stay tuned for. I can't get all the way to camera. Do you do you want me to cut this out? No, that's fine. Okay, all right, Justin. Justin's gonna let us keep this in. Thank I'm just God. Put my candy across the table. <sighs> So this is going to end our first segment of Snack Fever for the March box. Um, the April box has come in, so stay tuned for that episode if you really like this video. Like, subscribe, comment down in the page, hopefully. And um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Destin come back for our next segment for, I think our next one's what, the Japan Crate box? Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, the Japan Crate box is going to be um, our next segment. And it would be Japan Crate... April, I believe, or it could be March. I'd look I'm not sure. Yeah. There's before you go. There's one thing I've noticed. Mhm. Mm On the back of those little rice crackers we had eaten earlier, there's a little phone number. Oh yeah, I know. I made the joke to Trent though. I'm like, I want to call that number, and he's like, call him. And I was like, you they know how much I'm gonna get charged? would not understand you, and you would be charged like a dollar fifty a minute. Yeah. But yeah, so hopefully y'all like this segment on the Korean food that we had. And before I go, as always, I'd like to give my boy Kirby a shout out for his Twitch channel. So he is twitch.tv slash OMG Kirby WTF. He has a gaming schedule out now. I think it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or maybe Saturdays. I'm not sure it's on his Twitch channel page. And there will be a link down below for that. Also, as always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and we will keep you updated on how that ramen tasted. And on how the oh we don't have it over here, and on how the coffee nice. tasted, coffee. Oh, coffee, coffee, or in Japanese, kohi. Yeah. Kohi. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. You gonna wave bye to the camera, Dustin? Bye. Hello, <laughs>